Absolutely. Now, it's 10 years, would you believe, since Baltimore House in Exeter was a finalist in the BBC's Restoration series. Since then, three quarters of a million pounds has been spent on, among other things, making the building safe and trying to prevent further damage. Well, there's still a very long way to go, but in the meantime, the building is already proving a popular venue for local community groups. This week, it's the stage for a production of Jekyll and Hyde. Spotlight's Lee Rundle went along to the dress rehearsal. Expense is no consideration. He assures them the last sample was impure and quite useless. The perfect backdrop for Robert Louis Stevenson's gothic horror, at the same time offering a chance to raise funds towards the ongoing restoration. We sort of approached Baltimore and sort of explained that we'd really love to use the property to, to come and do a, a play. And um, we said we'd be, you know, obviously willing to, to share a percentage of the box office sales with them to go towards the, the, the fund to help restore the house to its former glory. While the work continues, bridges are industriously being built with the local community. This is a piece of really important heritage, which most of its life was private. It then became schools, but when it became a hospital, it became somewhere where the people were able to come in. And, and I think what we're trying to do now is to um, take that idea of opening it up for the people of Devon and wherever um, in a much, much richer kind of way than we had before. Ten years ago, Baltimore House was a finalist in the BBC's restoration series and more support rallied to protect it. Now, a further £150,000 has been secured by Baltimore Trust to rescue the saloon room, originally built in the 16th century. But for this week at least, its broken down splendour lends to dramatic effect. Baltimore House is uh, just an incredible state of ruinous disrepair and for the story that we've chosen, the Jekyll and Hyde, a gothic masterpiece, it just adds so much atmosphere to it. The splendour of this stately home is now more accessible than ever. The time scale for completion of the renovation work is elusive. Lee Rundle, BBC Spotlight, Baltimore House.